What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today I will show you how to remove the driver or the steering wheel airbag on a Kia Forte. This is being done on a 2012 Kia Forte. We're gonna start by disconnecting the battery. Make sure nothing goes funky, no airbag gets deployed. And we are using a 10 millimeter socket and I'm just going to take off the negative terminal and we will move inside the vehicle. Now on the side of the steering wheel, there's an opening right here. Um, I don't know if you guys will have like a little plastic pin that goes in there, but looking inside, there is a screw that we will need to take out and that will need to be done on both sides. As you guys can see, I got it out. So what you will need is a T30 screwdriver or a small, I'll go right here, a small socket set like this. Well, it's not a socket set. Uh, basically like screwdriver heads. Um, and once you take them out from both sides, there's the airbag. Gently disconnect these two pins. If you guys can see that, these two pieces right here, they pop up. Uh, you could use a flathead screwdriver or maybe a small knife and then just gently pull up on them and they will come out. This is what it looks like without those pins. Again, just be gentle with it. It doesn't require a lot of force. Here they are and then they are held by this little, uh, where is it? This bracket, if you put something in here and then just gently move it to the side. It'll pop out, see how it closes? Just move this back and it'll pop up and it'll let go of this, uh, these two wires. Now gently and carefully kind of work your way backwards. Uh, so I got those pins in. The one thing I need to do is just push down on these. Again, it doesn't require a lot of force. And gently slide it back in and looking from the side make sure that the holes line up and screw it in and that's it new airbag is in uh, the one thing to note these screws that are in here i was unable to fully take them out so i just unscrewed them and then gently towards the end uh, so they're kind of loose and the airbag pretty much just popped out on its own so what I'm gonna do now is connect the battery again and start her up, see if uh, the airbag light is on or not because I don't remember and we will go from there. All right guys, moment of truth. Yep, I see a small little airbag light right down here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. So you will need a high-end computer to get the reset either the dealer or uh, at a nice independent shop. I thankfully have a cousin who has a really nice snap-on uh, and he resets these airbag lights for me. So that's what I'm gonna do. Beep. Horn works. Uh, it seems like the install went super quick, super easy, about 15 minute job. Really hope this was helpful to you guys. And subscribe, hit that thumb up button, and I will see you guys in another video.